That's the green light. Green flags are flying.
front end is not the way you want to go down the track. It sounded pretty good. Lifted the front end up, had the engine RPMs up, the wheel speed came up real quickly. So they look things over. Dennis Johnson. See our tech officials down there immediately to make sure that there is no problem. Uh, about of a year out in Brent Long Shop in Missouri. Uh, filled a lot of the tractor himself. Has learned an awful lot working with Mr. Long out there. And I'll tell you what, they have got a tough running tractor here. They got into the pull-off last night. Oh, yes, it's one of those situations that we were not real sure that we were going to put anybody out. And then all of a sudden, it, it, really, uh, it really took off with the tractor. Coming together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artie Kleinkowski, door missing in the wild thing. Wheel space up. Tough track, folks. You can hear it. It stopped that tractor. You can hear it right there. You can hear it. Wheel speed came up, picked the front end up, yep. sounded good. Yep. Yep. Came up and down the track, and then all of a sudden, you can feel it. And that tractor is one of the tractors that you'll see. You know, Floyd fans, I talk about this a lot. If you've seen any of my shows up in Michigan and some of the, the events up there, we talk about how do you learn to drive a pulling vehicle. And it's a very simple answer. By the seat of my pants. That's what 99% of the drivers will tell you. There is no good way to tell you this. Uh, you just got... Arnie Kwiatkowski, this is the 289 and 4. 289 and 4 for the wild thing of Arnie Kwiatkowski as I'm, uh, as I'm slipping a bit here. I'll let that one come past without reporting it to you. 289 and 4 for Arnie Kwiatkowski. And Dennis Johnson has elected to drop and exercise his option to repair if he can and come back last in the class. So Lee Peets now from Lebanon, Indiana. Lines up with the Minneapolis Moline on the track. Power coming up. The green flags are out. I think he was concentrating so hard as he crossed 75 feet, he couldn't really decide what to make that decision or not. And you could see, he was watching the, the dashboard, trying to decide what was going on. It wasn't coming up, the engine horsepower wasn't coming up, the engine RPMs weren't coming up. But, he got a lot more distance than he did last night. That's right. He's got a, he's got a problem that he's starting to address, I can tell you that. His measurement, 113.8, 113.8 for Lee Peets. Out of Lebanon, Indiana, the mini mall. In Ohio, the Running Bear 4, which would seem to imply there was a Running Bear 1, 2, and 3. Or maybe not, just a good combination of numbers to go up with. Actually, they used to run uh, a smoker tractor. Matter of fact, Bill Hurt drove one, his dad, That's Jeff right. became of age. Matter of fact, he missed his senior prom so he could go to a tractor pull. That's right. Now, was he driving at that time or just missed the, missed the dance? He was driving, that's what I thought. That's what Jeff I thought. does all the driving just about now. Out of Fort Clinton, Ohio. The green flag is out. Mr. Hager on the backside. Tied up tight. Front end up. Whoa. Jeff a little uh, concerned about the way it came off the line. I can't say it, I believe it. I don't either. It, it didn't sound quite right. Looked like one side digging real hard, the other side digging real hard. As Jeff come out and goes hammer down, actually he does jump right out of the throttle of this running bear. And we were talking about that last night, is the length of time that some of these competitors will leave the vehicle sitting on the starting line and running to build any engine heat at all, or simply come out and go. I don't think with the alcohol burners, and there again, this is just Hartzell speculation, okay? I don't think with the alcohol burners, they have to run as long to warm the engine up as the diesel fuel burners do. A lot of times in the uh, smokers, you will see them down there idle. Coming up next, out of Farmington, Minnesota, Brett Burr. Now this tractor, probably about the next time that you pull it in and see it out, will be sporting four and possibly five motors on it. Change first, Burr, Pencil. You know, it, it's interesting. Talk about Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. It used to be there was one vehicle out of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's a good penny rod. 
That would have been a good trivia question for you. Yeah, I, I would have had the answer. But I know the answer. Yeah, I know you do. But stop and think about it. Now that we've got super stalkers out of out of uh, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, yeah. as well as, as the the Red Fox. I mean, you know. Yeah. I think there's some. Uh, we were talking about Eldora last night. I think there's some wind. Uh, Sprint cars, the outlaws from Chambersburg, sudden, Pennsylvania. Also, the, must be the, the, the motorized motor, The motorsport bug yeah. bit Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. I think all of a sudden, as Josh Martin comes uh, here with the in the '77 Super Stock. Now he's got it here. Now Josh running single cuts. Look at the rear tires, folks. We'll yep. talk about that later on in the program. Look at your rear tires. They look like a conventional tractor tire. Taking the time, second generation driver, 16 years of age. That's right. First year of driving. Gary Deere. Not good. White smoke would seem to indicate that we got a fuel air water mixture problem. Yeah, I would say we got a turbocharger problem. Well, something there. Gonna need a tow tracker. He's coming right behind you, Mr. Ben. So Josh Martin, uh, the chain. Green light comes on aboard the old Ironsides, Mr. Hager says it's time to go. Looking across the track, Mr. Scott Doty, our starting line flag with green flag out. Bob Ben on the finish line with the green flag out. And it's all fine. Lap right now. Our 7,700 pound super stock class. He's out to kind of defend his title here from last night in a tough class. Brian Hogg sits on top.
Rossi roll up tight. This will be Jeff Fuller in our two-wheel drive class. 25 vehicles to run. A big class of two-wheel drive. Taking a straight shot right down on the track behind Charlie Javine. Beyond the 250, start the crowd 275 feet. We'll get a distance on her and find out what she has decided to do here in just a second. As we'll take it down trackside at Tom. Um Once again, we work the 
kill switch wire first, and then we hook the pull chain. Very much so. If something happens to get in the way, we can shut the vehicle off. Yes, we can. Fight and ready to go. Mr. Lucci says go. Two flights and say go. Joe, go.
close to that end line down there. Yes, we are. Yes, we're starting to count that, uh, that first place distance down there a little bit. The red flag is up for your major crew. They check the other track for right now. And I appreciate that, guys. Okay. Down there to kind of watch both tracks. Good job.
flag comes up from your measuring crew indicating that, uh, well, we didn't get out anyway. Now, whether we got down there close, do we have somebody out on top in a new lead position? It's hard to say, as this, uh, this track has been very temperamental all afternoon. And almost, the Irish challenger gets the job done. Do we have to?
track in the two-wheel drive competition. The last man with a shot at first place here this afternoon. Yeah, I 
Kevin Bell, the name was John Deere. Lucas, Ohio. And we'll have his men. Red 
that flag comes up, it's not going to happen. So Jim took a triple off big time the other night up there in Hartford. Looks like they got everything around though, and it went down the track pretty good, but all of a sudden, Mr. Hager gets me. There was a hesitation there too, did you? Well, I noticed that. I was going to bring that up for you. But he kind of just kept going though. Yeah. It didn't phase it a lot, but uh, that's not normal. That's exactly right. So we'll have Tim's basement in just a second. You know, it's kind of 288 and 3, 288 and 3. And they're on my side. Yeah, I know they're on your the side. Fans. All right, the current leader of the National Points Chase for 1998, the Rip Gambler, Tim Obermeyer, out of New Palestine, Indiana. The International coming alive. Smoke goes white to red and black, 24 fires are spinning. The Rip Gambler, Tim Kane. Yeah, that could be a problem there in that uh, super, or 
Pro Stock Tractor there. Monty McCoy's Dust to the Dawn. We bring the, 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 the question from our statisticians that, you know, it's running pretty good until it quit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, good friends, they run together a lot. This is the first time I've seen Mike this year. He didn't make it up, neither did Kevin to Michigan the other day for the Grand National event up there. As a matter of fact, a lot of these guys are uh, new to me today. We only saw 11 of them up there the other night, so we've got a good crowd of them here. We've got a chance to look some of them over. Right. Mike Sarver knows how to put this vehicle in the winner's circle. The John Deere, the Green Extreme out of Richmond, Indiana.
about as close as we've ever been. As, as close as we've ever been. The ticket is yellow in color. It is 1402101410. The number on a yellow ticket worth a thousand bucks in our 50-50 drawing. You mean we didn't win again? We were within nine tickets this time. No way! Within nine tickets this time. Nine? Yeah, that's as close as we've ever been. Man, we should have bought that iron plate. I know, you know. I know. One four zero two ten. It is yellow in color for 50-50 drawing. Thousand bucks to put in somebody's pocket this afternoon. Could have been yours and mine. Yeah, I know, but you know what? We'd have had to give it back. Yeah. <laughs> this is Gary Creepmeyer heading up on the post star track out of Warren, Illinois. The Fuelish Pleasure. The Fuelish Pleasure. Gary Brinkmeyer, Warren, Illinois. The International. Six. 
big car thumper. What do you think, Bandy? Thank you. All right. See, I told you you could do that. Very polite young lady, too. No. Scott Trippin, 
the John Deere called Nightline. The next to the last competitor here in the 10,000 pound Pro Stock Division. The Smokers here this afternoon. One more up. One more up. The Boy Tracker coming back. Next to the last competitor here. Slowly starts to build the heat. Smoke goes white to red and black. 24.5 starts to spin. Dagger, night line, heading for 304. Oh, getting underneath that charger real quick. Got some problems there underneath the cowling of the nightlife tractor. Boy, a beautiful machine. But not running the way they wanted it to here this afternoon. So we'll have a long. We appreciate That's right. and every one of them. Green flag flying, green light is on. Mr. Hager is ready. The track officials are ready for the final competitor here for the first event of 1998 at Fort Recovery Wild. Ambassador Park, Greg Lloyd. Yeah, but did he mean he's 285? I don't know. That, that may be the decision. He's going to be close. He's going to be very, very close now. Yeah, about 35 foot. It's hard to tell where the back of the sled is right now. Yeah, that's right. The back of the sled. Right that's right. where I measure from. Oh, you measure the back of the sled? Yeah, most everybody else measures in front. I can't okay. see the front. That explains a lot. Right. Oh, 